Uganda has over the years enjoyed a comparative advantage over other East African countries in education, with hundreds of students from neighboring countries flocking Uganda each year to attain education. But unfortunately, this advantage is diminishing, with many now blaming it on some teachers whom they say can't interpret the syllabus. Practically, a syllabus is supposed to be the national teacher's guide to defining course goals, planning the course structure and assignments, exams, review sessions to determine how much time a teacher should devote to particular topics. But a 2011 report by Oweso, a civil society group that monitors educational standards, revealed that although access to education has expanded since the introduction of the universal primary education and universal secondary education, the quality of learning has stagnated. And how many children can you attend to within a 30 minutes? Remember, in lower primary, actually, every lesson is 30 minutes. You have 150 children. How much time can you dedicate to, to those children? I think the context of learning has somehow changed a lot. The need for this change has for years manifested in dwindling Uganda National Examination Board results, which the Examination Board UNEP blames on teachers' failure to interpret the syllabus. Which teacher is standing in, in her class? What knowledge and skills do they have? Why should you bring to senior six a former senior six? You may bring a former senior six just to come and give a few inspirational remarks, but not to teach. And as the 2013 national exams draw nearer, there is growing fear among us educationists. As the National Education Standards Unit says, only three out of ten teachers can interpret the syllabus. Some teachers, they take teaching profession as a last resort. In the view of that, uh, some don't really follow what they learn from the colleges. They don't practice the, mes the, the, the methods they got from the college. Education say curriculums are crammed with unclear knowledge, complex jargons and theoretical scientific and mathematical concepts which are not used in other countries, not until the first years of university. There are so many subjects and many of them is quite difficult to, to make a whole. They are discrete pieces. At the end of the day, when the children write, um, go to write their examinations, they just recall. But they can't make um, connections and how that knowledge actually can transfer outside the classroom. Unfortunately, most teachers rely mainly on textbooks other than teaching lesson plans, with some schools still using the Nile English course and Ogunlipe, among others. There are some schools when they go and they find materials in the bookshops, they buy. Even the teachers, they can also buy. And when they buy them, you find some of those books, because they were not vetted, they can uh, uh, make a teacher pass across some wrong information. Many now question the National Development Curriculum Centre, wondering whether they are designed, they consult teachers, or they simply impart the syllabus on to teachers. Teacher training institutions to groom the teacher and show the teacher what should be taught. So that when this teacher leaves the institution, goes to school and follows the stipulated curriculum. The National Curriculum Development Center now blames the National Education Standards Unit for not doing its work of inspecting schools to ensure the syllabus is followed. This as many teachers, especially those teaching candidate classes, only concentrate on UNEP pass papers to teach and indicated that education today is about passing exams. If there are schools which are not following the curriculum, then the Directorate of Education Standards should look out for those schools and call them to order. Every school is now inspected once a term. So you find every, wherever it is located, inspectors reach there because there is money for that activity. Nationally, we have not defined the learner who we want out of our institution. As a result of the poor interpretation of the syllabus, teachers are now over teaching and testing living, thus non teaching learners to learn or creative thinking that is required at workplaces as employers keep on shifting demands. Shamim Batalwo, WBS News, Kampala.